So we're back with The Art of Living, and I'm Craig Carlisle, your host, and of course, you're listening to The Raising Men Show, and we're very excited about this new segment that we're launching, the Lord's given us The Art of Living. And on the phone, I have a great friend of mine, we're doing one of those superhero tag team team-ups like <laughs> we used to talk about and watch when we were kids. Now, I know, Shelty, I'm dating myself here, but... Um, <laughs> We're talking yeah, because I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I don't know. Man, come on now. I know you was watching Super Friends 7 a.m. on Saturday mornings. <laughs> the, the, the Justice League, is that, is that my favorites were the Wonder Twins? The Wonder Twin <laughs> powers activate. Activate. Form of my shield. Man, shape of a big gorilla. Go for it. <laughs> right. That's what Jay Lee and I go by. The one with the Wonder Twins. I ain't mad at you. Yo, <laughs> I, I still have to... You know, get Jay Lee's show on both radio stations now. I have he and I had a great time on WKBY's program of uh, the Raising Men show, and I just haven't got him into the air rotation at this point because it's the Lord is blessed with a lot of other guests that have been recorded before him, and it's just right. an amazing time. And like I said, this is one of those tag team team ups. So we're gonna be pretend we're the Wonder Twins, you know, on this show here because you and Ebear are killing it on True Living and. Man, God is awesome. That, that's just in itself. It's an awesome way to begin and end my week, at least. Well, this is a blessing because I'm looking forward to joining. Well, I just I have looked forward to joining the Truth <laughs> FM family. The Truth FM family. Yeah, man. This <laughs> is very excited as well. well. Very excited. You know, and I was just you know chatting with the Baron not too long ago. I wanted to talk about even the format of the show and how that this art of living is a segment of. The Raising Men Show now, and it's and the Lord right. has really given it as an opportunity to open the doors to more people in a wider audience, not just for the sake of, of of an audience appeal, but for the word for the for the kingdom to be expanded. Because yes. in the art of living, and I know we've said it on every segment so far, but we've got to drive this home for those who are new listeners. So the art of living is based on our belief in God and the plan He has for our life. You know, based on mm-hmm. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven that He has a plan for us to prosper us and not destroy us, and that we have to have peace in that plan no matter how that plan rolls out good bad or indifferent right and we have to have love you know that agape love god's love for people yes. no matter how they treat us we've got to have love and show them love and not just talk about it we got to live this thing. right because i know it talks Amen. about we live by faith i mean the niv quotes it as we live by faith. In other translations, says we walk by faith. Yes, but we live by faith. And we, right. we can't have faith if we're not showing love. Right. Because faith is love. Faith is love. And yeah. as a part of this segment, let me stop rambling around, but on this segment, <laughs> we're, we're working and focusing on our on the theme of mothers and mm. Mother's Day. And what is your experience with your mother done to shape your view of motherhood and how you are a mother. So share with the people, because I know we're going to be publishing your piece on our social mm-hmm. media sites. Amen. As it's, and it's related to the same topic. But share with the viewer, the, the listeners and the viewers out there, what has your experience with your mother done to shape your aspect and your application of motherhood? Well, it's, it's a, a blessing to be able to get to that age where you realize your mother was really trying to help you. <laughs> right. We, we go through so many stages in life where we start off and our mothers are the greatest things in the world, the best things, our superheroes. Um, we go on to figure out that, okay, maybe they're not as cool as we thought they were and <laughs> get to the point where, okay, she actually doesn't even know anything. Right, right, right. <laughs> To revert back to the point where, you know what, maybe she does know a little bit. Oh, my gosh, my mom is amazing. Oh, mom, I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally figured that out after all these years, all these whoopings. I, that's generally the process. And, and, and you know, so um, I know we don't have a lot of time. So one thing that stood out for me with my mom is um, I was a teenage parent. And um, I got pregnant at 14 years old. Now, of course, I knew it wasn't okay to be pregnant at 14. I didn't live in a household like, baby, it's all right. You know, we, you know, it's okay. You know, you just going to do what you're going to do. I mean, she didn't buy diapers so for you? It wasn't okay. <laughs> yeah, she, you know, she was there. She was the mom. And, um, 
but the one thing that I appreciated about my mom is I never knew I made my mom cry mm. until way after years later in my adulthood. Um, I didn't know my mom cried about me being pregnant. Wow. And the reason why that was so cool, because at 14, that's the hardest thing in the world for you to be looked at and everybody's talking about you. And, you know, I have family members that you'll never be nothing. You're not going to amount to anything and you don't need to have this baby. And although I knew my mother wasn't okay with the situation, I never knew my mother was hurt Mm -hmm. because if I had known my mom was hurt, I mean, the enemy could have used that as total condemnation and, you know, just really made it difficult for me to truly become the parent that I was supposed to be. Um, So me knowing that and knowing that even in her hurt, she still supported me. She still helped me. She was still there for me. Now, she didn't take care of my kid, which is another thing that I appreciate greatly. She made me responsible for my child. Right. It wasn't, wow. I'm the, you know, I'm Michelle and she's the mama. It was none of that. From the very beginning, you having this baby, you're going to take care of this baby. And she made sure that that was the case, but always being a support system for me. And in that, it made me realize that, you know, for my children, I have to create them, uh, give them the opportunity to be who they need to be, um, to support them in the ways that they need to be support them, but prepare them to be adults in life. And even though I was 14 with a child, she was still preparing me to be an adult, to raise my child, which thank God, because of that, there was no cycle being perpetuated. There was no cycle being continued. You know, I had a child at 14, my daughter's 31 years old and has no children yet. You know, um, she, um, you know, she's doing well. She she knows God. She loves God. And I, I attribute that to the fact that I wasn't, you know, I was present. I was there. I was consistent. And I was real. And I was able to talk to her and raise her to understand that you don't want to deal with what you have to deal with when it comes to your children. <laughs> you know, wow. you don't want to make your kids suffer through anything you have to suffer through. But at the same time, knowing I'm not getting ready to have a bunch of kids either. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is it because this was difficult. This wasn't easy. <laughs> I feel you. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, in a lot of ways, now um, making sure my children are independent and that um, they understand that you know God is the power and the authority in our lives, and if we stay focused on Him then not that we won't fall, but we'll fall a little bit less. That's amazing. Now, help help people understand how has that shaped your art of living for being a mother? And, and when you get up in the morning, what do you think about in your mother? Have you had that epiphany moment that, you know what, I'm a mom? <laughs> yeah, several times. <laughs> the art of living is to know that my children are my assignment. They've been gifted to me, and I have a job to do. Yeah. And so I don't try to live through my children. Mm. I try to give my children life so they can live through God. And when I finally realize that um, I'm preparing them to go back to him, yeah, it got a lot easier. You know, I still cry. You know, kids make you cry, yeah, period. Yeah, Just no deal doubt. with it. but when I cry out to God he always shows me comforts me, reminds me, guides me and directs me on the fact that I'm in this with you just keep doing the work just keep doing the work you will see the manifestation of the promise that I'm giving you so when I wake up and I realize okay, here we go I already know God is like "All right, let's go yeah, because you, you've only walked it out that for you, that is your art of living, to knowing yeah. that it's going to be that way. And it's, it's yeah. and being you're content with it. You have peace. You found that peace. You walk in that. 
and it helps you walk out your love once you discover where your peace comes from. Right. And it just reinforces right. your belief in God. Yeah, because I can live. I can live and um, I can truly cast my cares on him. He sets up the opportunity for us to have uh, friends and, and I have a helpmate and I have, you know, people that I can confide in and I can release with and then I can get back in the ring. It's like being a boxer where mm-hmm. when you have that moment where that bell rings, you get to sit down for a moment and those people in your corner are encouraging you, pumping right. you up. Right. Some are telling you, all right, now you get, you got to stick and move. Last time he hit you with this. So next time you got to bob and weave. And the other one is like, you got this, you're doing this, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You can maybe play that Rocky that Rocky music theme music on the way out of this segment. <laughs> right. And can, and you're able to get back up there and, and go another round. And, and so that's why I just tell to live. You got to understand that it, it's a fight. It's a fight to live. It's a fight. But the reward of living, it outweighs the battle by time. Man, that's amazing. And again, you've been listening to the Raising Men Show and a great new segment that we are really being blessed by, The Art of Living. So everyone remember, there is an art to living. It's based on your belief in God, the peace you have with his plan, good, bad, or indifferent, and the love that you have, the God's love you have for his people, no matter how they treat you. Join me next week. We'll have another great guest talking about the same subject, The Raising Men Show and The Art of Living. Have a great day. Bless y'all. Thanks, Shelty. Enjoy great having you. You're welcome. Show.